this is a simple overview for assignment two, and in no way should this be considered kind of a comprehensive uh, discussion about this assignment. But I, I wanted to try to kind of make sure that this first assignment goes well and everybody has a kind of at least a fair idea of what's expected. Uh, so what we're going to do first here is I went to window, which I, I know is out of your screen, but I'm selecting color. It should be F6, should be for PC or Mac, should be the same there. And it's going to open up this window. And this window is something we're going to use throughout the course. And there's a couple options here when you click on this corner. Anytime you see these little triangle marks, there, there's other tools there. And what we want to start with are the HSB sliders. Uh, and so the first gradation that you're asked to do is a gradation of hue at maximum saturation. And so understanding what maximum saturation means is essential to this assignment. And, and for that, we want these S and B values to be at 100%. This S value, I, I know it refers to saturation for those that do, uh, but this term saturation is used inconsistently. And I talk about this in another video. We can talk about it later. But basically, when you go back and forth, you can see this is adding white. And so for that case, it, it's a tint and that's how we can look at it. Here, we can see shades. We're adding black together. That's where we get our tones. So we want maximum saturation. So I'm going to just select the paint bucket tool. I'm going to make sure it's continuous to check. Tolerance is somewhere in the 20s. It will be sufficient for this assignment. And just go ahead and add them. And what we want here is kind of a consistent transition. And so, you know, the easiest is going to be like 10 degrees. Try to do something a little bit different. You know, do seven, eight degrees steps uh, just to really kind of show. But I'm going to go ahead and just do that standard 10 because we see it a lot uh, and so you can see this gradation of hue developing uh, and it's fully saturated because I never change those S and B values and we're going to go back and look at it here in a second I just want to do one more at least to get to yellow and so when we check it and this is an important part of when we do critiques and understanding whether you did an assignment correctly use our eyedropper tool measure it we can see that it's red and that it's fully saturated we can see this next one's hue 10 and we can see this next one's hue 20 and so that 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 even transition of 10 degree increments is it, part of that gradation of hue, and then of course the maximum saturation. Uh, the next one is a gradation of value. Well, what this means is basically tints and shades. Uh, you can use the hue saturation tool to do this. You can do gradations if you like. Uh, ideally, we want to look for the most precise ways uh, to do an assignment. Uh, I'm going to go with the simplest way for this one. Keep in mind, hue saturation tool does these the best, and that's what you're going to want to use for assignment three. Uh, but in this case, we can go ahead and just type in the values. It's 20% changes. And then because the, uh, of how big the template is, we really can't use 20% for the shades. Uh, and so in that case, one of the ways to exceed on this assignment is to go ahead and extend the template one more step. Uh, I'm not going to do that because, again, this is kind of a simple approach. But what happens is we have four transitional steps. So basically 25% uh, is what we need to change this. So go ahead and add that in. And remember, you want to use an original color. Don't use red. You know, stay away from red, green, blue, yellow, cyan, and magenta. You really want to try to stay away from things that are used in examples. I'm going to talk more about that next week, but we might as well introduce it now. Uh, the last part here is uh, the gradation of saturation. So with this, we want a fixed hue and a fixed value. Uh, and so there, there's a couple ways to kind of approach that. Uh, the, the one I have suggested is to use the hue saturation tool. And so we're going to first, I'll start there. And I'm actually just going to do one of the steps just to kind of uh, give you a general idea if you need to watch the other videos. But this is the third step we need continuous on when we select it with the magic wand. Hue saturation tool. Let me make sure I hit the right button there. Here, let's pull it up this way. There we go. And so this one is the third step. I know it's 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 a decrease of 33%. So I'm gonna go negative 33 because basically these are 11 degree steps. Hit OK. Now when I do this, we're gonna if you look at the grayscale slider, go back to your eyedropper. You're going to see initially it's at 58%. Here it's at 64 Well, We need this to be the same. So again, we come back to the hue saturation tool. We know we want it to be at 58. We check it again with the eyedropper. We see it's at 64. We take it lighter until that number in the grayscale slider matches the initial value of whatever your hue is, in this case, 58. And so if you do that for all the steps, you'll have this nice even gradation, and it'll maintain that fixed value.